Welcome Flyfers. So before we are jumping right into this video, I want to say a big, big thank you to everyone who has been supporting me in the last weeks. We did manage to pass the 300 subscriber mark, which is amazing. And I want to give you a little teaser. As soon as we're hitting the 500 subscriber mark and we are unlocking the community function of YouTube, this means like I can inform you when something is coming up. Um, we can run polls on different things and you basically have more decisions to decide what kind of videos you're getting next and stuff like this and once we're reaching this milestone i have a giveaway prepared for you guys that i can most certainly promise has never been made in this kind of way in life so far and i've never seen it in other games as well so it's going to be really unique and fun so you should definitely keep your eyes open for this one so let's jump right into the video. First of all, we need to say thank you to Nero. It's a guy from the Flife Universe Discord that um, created this little tool for you that I'm going to show you. And it's just amazing that he spent the time doing this because he invented the skillulator that allows us to predetermine at which level we're going to have what kind of amount of skill points. And this way, it's the perfect tool to fear your craft um, getting to know the, your kinds of builds that you're able to do and maybe what you're not able to do and this way I'm pretty sure if you're doing it that wisely and are not brain dead putting points into it you will never ever have to buy a reskill from the cash shop again. The link to the tour will be in the descriptions down below. So let's now talk about a little example that I prepared for you here and how the skilling system works in Fly of Universe. So for example, this is our first thing. We need to be level 15, we are getting pulling. Then once we are level 18, we are able to skill the fast walker. This means we are always having to have the, certain, uh, the previous skill at a certain level, which is level four. That's why the pulling is level four here, so we can advance to be able to skill fast walker. And this kind of logic is all over the skills. This means in the second um, the second skill set here from the Jester, it is the same. So basically we need to have escape and then Trant Absorb at a certain level so we can max the hit of Penya. The reason why we are taking a look at this specific option here is that a lot of times you will use, um, you will level with a Jester with, until level 75 as a Bow Jester. And then at level 75, you will use your free reskill to go into the yo-yo mode once you have the historic yo-yo and the critical swing available. That's why I put like a decent, uh, the all the important PvE skills that you need um, on max. Those are like the um, yo-yo mastery, the perfect block, the deadly swing, the enchant poison, the critical swing and the hit of Penya. But of course, we are still having 110 points left. For PvE, there's not a lot that we can add here, but for PvP, for example, we can look what's going to be the best build and theory craft a little. Um, for using the, um, the skill later, you will always have the level right here that you can put and you will see the available skill points that you have left on this part here. When you're trying to um, change a class on the top row, always press the reset button once so you're sure you're having the right amount of points. But overall, it's looking pretty solid. It only has a few bugs that um, are not really worth mentioning. Since the API update is going to come, then the kind of the way the skill trees look will adjust a little, but overall a really solid tool. And now let's take a look how we can spend the last 110 available points wisely. This means um, we're going into fast walker. Speed is one of the most important things in PvE and PvP. So this is a win-win for both. Then Dark Illusion being invisible, of course, is giga good. And we definitely need to get um, counter attack going. This means we need to put 10 points into crossline. Crossline is a skill that you can put into the action slot and getting stunts going. So it's valuable for um, like gigging and um, 
what's it called, um, getting a CC lock going in PvP. And counter attack only needs to have one point just so we can cast it to maybe outplay a build posture or something like this. And then another good skill that will give us additional um, additional CC is the sneak step. And for this we need to enchant blood, as you can see right here, level 3. So we can go this one to level 3, so we have to unlock the sneak step and put at least one point here. And now we have, for example, 24 points left and we can see, yeah, now as the Fury Crafting starts, what is going to be our main thing? Do we need more counterplay? Do we need more damage or CC? Or do we need more, um, a higher, a lower cooldown on skills like Escape, for example, that will remove all debuffs since it's really debuff heavy. I would recommend here, for example, going into the Escape Max route here and, um, going for counter attack as well. So this is just an example how the skill later can be used for theory crafting, making sure that you're not missing anything out. And what was just also pretty neat, um, you will always see the different, um, what's it called? The different options, what the skills are actually doing. So they have a skill description. What is currently missing is the scaling for the different skills so you can't see yet which um, kind of values you're getting when you're putting it from level 10 to level 11 for example but i'm sure this will come so it's just the minor thing and yeah just an amazing future and i'm really happy that nero made this for the community pretty good one and yeah all i can all that's left to say is have a nice weekend cheers